Welcome back to Little Alchemist Helper. Mr. Andersam here, and today we're going to do a video on the advanced controls for the deck optimizer. So um, we're going to do this on a cell phone. So if that's also something interested in, you're interested in doing, go ahead and go download the Microsoft Excel app. Um, we'll have a link for that for the App Store and Google Play in the description. So start there, go download that, um, and then come back to the video once you have that done. All right, you're back. So um, go find a link for the the tool. There should be one in the description. There's one on the forums. There's one in the Discord. The information database in the Discord. Um, all of those links work. Anytime there's an update, I actually change the file behind the link so I don't have to go chase around changing all the links. So if you find any of those, whatever's there is the latest version available. Um, by the time that I go post this, it should be 4.1.7, I'm pretty sure. So if you've got, if you don't have 4.1.7, go get the new one um, and we'll open this up on our phone. So if I do that, it's actually going to crash the screen recorder. So I'm probably just going to um, edit some stuff together to make it just, all right, hey look, there, it's open now, ta-da. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is throw some cards in here. We'll do bear, human, and uh, knight. Uh, this will just give us kind of some examples to look at as we change things. So we're gonna click over to the advanced tab, um, and the first option in here is which mode you want the tool running in. So you're, you've got four options. You have some, attack, defense, and heroics. Uh, we'll cover heroics later, um, so we'll start with the, the main three. Um, attack and defense only look at whatever stat they're representing. So if you have it in attack mode, and we'll just set that now, and we'll go back over to the user tab, you can see that um, combos like bear plus human give you an attack of 28, and a, a combos like bear plus knight, knight give you an attack of 29. So you come back to the defense tab, and this does just the defense stat. So we'll go take a look at that and see that they've updated now to what their respective values are. So all some mode is, is the combination or the addition between the two. So we can go set this to sum and we'll bounce back and we'll see that bear plus human is now 55 and knight plus uh, bear is updated as well. So that's, that's those three. They're pretty basic. Um, it's important to keep in mind that, that when you change them, uh, it updates the point scores. That's more important for what we'll go over next. Um, and I wouldn't recommend using just attack mode or defense mode to build a whole deck. But if you're getting down to the end and um, it's real close between a couple cards, you can flip it into one of those modes and um, see what the tool will suggest for you there so that uh, you can kind of more tailor it to your play style if you want to be a little bit more more defensive based or a little bit more aggressive. So um, moving on, the next, the next control here is the lowest combo worth counting. So what this does is it sets a minimum threshold for what a combo is worth playing in your hand or in your deck. So like if we had two humans, um, you could combo those together and get another human card. Um, but that's not a very strong play, and that's not really something that we want to be counted as um, a, you know, a benefit to putting in our deck. So we can set this threshold um, to wherever we kind of want that line drawn, and this is the absolute minimum. Um, so um, just kind of keep that in mind as you go. Uh, you don't want this to be like your ideal combo. This is like barely acceptable limit. Um, something to keep in mind, if you don't override this, it's dynamic. So I don't know if you noticed this earlier, but if you go change um, from some mode to attack or defense mode, the, the value will actually update because it's, it's looking at what cards you have in your deck and what cards you have in your library and trying to make a best guess as to where the, the lowest combo is worth counting. So obviously if you change your deck or library, that will cause it to change too. So 
that's that's how that one works. The next one on the list is the um, the step value. So the way the step value works is it actually works with the lowest combo worth counting to make six separate lowest combos worth counting. And then these are the gates that kind of control the score that you see when you're looking at the suggestions. So um, like if it's set to one and your lowest combo worth counting is 50, you'll have a gate at 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. So if you set it to two, all your gates will be at 50, 52, 54, 56, 58, and 60. And you can actually go look at these um, if you kind of want to see where they are. Back on the user tab, you just have to scroll like way, way over to the right, and then you can see what you know what each card scores at each gate. And then the score for the card is actually just the average. Um, of those scores with the modifiers like um, your copy reduction or your fusion fusion buff added to those. So that's where those come in. So we'll segue right back into the advanced tab and onto the copy reduction. The copy reduction, unlike the step value and the lowest combo worth counting, is not dynamic. Um, this one's set static at 80. It's it's one of those things where I've tinkered around with it, and I think 80 is kind of the best place to have it. Um, if you don't like the copy reduction, that's fine, or if you don't think it's strong enough, or you think, you know, do whatever you want. Um, don't set it over 100, but if you if you want it to just leave the copies to be the exact same strength, regardless of how many you add, um, set it to 100. Just don't go above 100, you'll, you'll break stuff. Um, so, Something I, I forgot to mention is with the rest of these to include the copy reduction, these are all percentage based controls. So at 100%, um, that's that's a, you're not changing anything. It's like it's multiplicative. So 100% is one, you're just multiplying by one. If you set it to 200%, you're doubling. If you set it to 50%, you're cutting it in half. So that's, that's how all of these controls work. So anything above 100 is a buff, anything below 100 is a nerf. Um, so we'll move on to the fusion buff. This one is dynamic. Um, if you change the ratio between the amount of cards in your deck um, that are fused or not fused, it will change this percentage. Um, now, if you think it's set too strong, <coughs> tab dog, looking at you, uh, feel free to override it lower. Um, there is no way for me to write a formula that accounts for play style. So the formula that's in there now, I think is a good middle ground for a free to play person. So that's, I, you know, I just kind of had to make a judgment call on this one. It will, the more fused cards you have, the lower the buff will become. Um, but if you want to play with a ton of unfused cards, um, you can certainly set this lower, or you can set it at 100% and then it will just act like it's not in there. Um, so that's how, that's how that one works. And then the last two are for heroics mode. So in order for these to do anything, you have to go back to the top, um, set that to heroics, and now you can dynamically control um, what buff and nerf each stat gets. So the reason I call this heroics mode, even though you can use it for anything, um, is because this is how I built my heroics deck in the video up there. Um, basically, the bosses for the heroics don't play very high attack value cards. Um, we can get into that math in a different video. But because of that, defense isn't nearly as important as offense. So I actually set this up so that you can control how much you want that defense stat to be weighted versus how much you want the attack stat to be weighted. Now, the only automation in this is that the defense is automatically going to try and um, adjust to average out to be 100% with the attack stat. You don't need to do that. Um, I just, that keeps the, the combos at the same.
same relative strength, um, which is important when you go back to setting that lowest combo worth counting. So if you do change these dramatically, you'll want to go find those combos back on the pivot table um, to see what, where a card in your mind should be placed and then maybe adjust your lowest combo worth counting to that. Um, so that's, that's the real quick rundown of all of these controls. Now, um, I'm thinking about changing the name of Heroics. I said it's not really just for Heroics, but I don't know what to call it. So um, let me know what you think it should be called, and if I like your, your name, I'll definitely take it, and then I'll give you a shout out or a credit in the, in the tool, maybe both. Um, but I'll, you'll certainly get credit for helping me out. Um, leave that in a comment down below. Um, and I wanted to say thanks to White Tiger. Um, I know a lot of you guys were using the 3.0 version of this tool um, and were kind of disappointed when it broke. Um, basically, Chin, Chinzilla made the game too big in order for that old tool to accommodate it. And that's kind of why that one died. Um, so, a huge thanks to White Tiger. Um, he's kind of an up and coming player, so if you see him asking questions on the forum, definitely help him out. Um, I, I really appreciate um, you know, his help on this thing. And um, I wanted to give another shout out to uh, Gamer Alex. Now, I'll, there'll be a link for his channel in the description because he's the only other YouTuber going right now for this game. Um, so, you know, when I was thinking about putting this thing together, um, he was a, an inspiration showing me that, you know, there are still people out there wanting to see this game, still playing this game. He's also a newer player. Um, but yeah, if you want to go check out his stuff, there'll be a link in the description. So, thanks guys. Um, if you want to see more content like this or be kept in the loop as I make changes and updates to the tool, um, or just get more tips and tricks for a little alchemist, please like, subscribe, leave a comment. Um, if there's a video that you want done, let us know. Just just give us a shout out. Either find us on Discord or leave a comment. You know anything. Um, but that's all I've got for you today. Thanks.